Hello everybody and welcome back to lesson 15 levels of measurement scale. Before moving to the main discussion, let's define what measurement means. Measurement is a process of assigning numbers to objects for a specific set of attributes. And it is used to transform the qualities of attributes into numbers. Let's take a simple example. If we want to measure a weight, we say 50 kilograms, 60 kilograms, and so on. So those numbers, that is 50 and 60, are just the assigned numbers or a representation to explain the attribute that is weight. Levels of measurement is how precisely a variable is measured, or it explains the levels of precision that the variable can be measured. And knowing a levels of measurement determines the statistical test that is going to be applied. There are four types of levels of measurement, the nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. So we have to know, we have to know these types of, the types of levels of measurement scale so as to know, so as to determine the statistical test that is going to be applied. The higher the level of measurement, the more the statistical tests can be applied. For example, we can apply more statistical tests for ratio than nominal because the nominal one is the lower precision or the lower levels of measurement, whereas the ratio is the higher level of measurement. The first type of measurement scale is nominal scale. As the name implies, it is just a designation or it is just a naming or it is a nomination. Nomination for a distinct category. And here, numbers have no values and cannot compare among the categories the qualitative it is just a qualitative levels or a name there is no quantity properties that's why we cannot compare the numbers let's take uh, examples the eye color the blue is represented with one and the brown is represented with two and the green is represented with three so these numbers cannot be compared one with the other we cannot say three is greater than one they are just a nomination they are just a designation or just a representation the same is true for a smartphone uh, if we represent with iphone with 10 and uh, samsung with 11 and motorola with uh, 20 so we cannot compare these numbers they are just a representation and the same is true for a transport system and we can use for a representation, we can use the uh, bar graph or bar chart and uh, pie chart for uh, nominal scales data. Moving to how is nominal data can be analyzed. So using descriptive statistics, particularly frequency and mode can be applied. From a descriptive statistics, frequency and mode can be applied and they can be represented with bar graph and pie chart. And moving to the non-parametric test, uh, because, because of the qualitative nature of the nominal scales, uh, we apply non-parametric tests, particularly statistical tests, that is, uh, chi-square tests of independence can be used. Moving to the second types of measurement scales, that is ordinal, the name by itself shows there is order here in this scale and qualitative levels with hierarchical order. That means the ordinal scale can have all the properties of the nominal scale with the additions of ranking or ordering. It shows the order of the variables or the order of the magnitude, but it doesn't show the difference between each category. For example, if we take a school grade such as A, B, and C, we can see that we can say that a is greater than b and b is greater than c but we cannot say that the difference between a and b can be greater than or equal to the difference between b and c and the same is true for education level we can say phd phd is greater than masters and masters is greater than bachelor but we cannot say the interval uh, we cannot know the interval that is the difference between PhD and master, the difference between bachelor and master. We cannot analyze the difference. And the same is true for the seniority level. Moving to how the ordinal uh, data is analyzed. So 
uh, when we analyze using descriptive statistics, we can apply the frequency distribution just like that of the or nominal scale and mode, median, and range can be applied. Moving to the non-parametric test, because of its qualitative nature, uh, we can apply the non-parametric test. We cannot apply parametric test. So from that statistical test, a Spearman's correlation, that is rank correlation, uh, can be used uh, to analyze the ordinal scale. Moving to the third type, that is the interval scale. The interval scale captures the properties of both nominal and ordinal scale. Plus to that, here, the difference between the two values is meaningful, which means that it is possible to compare the difference in magnitude. But importantly here, the zero point does not have a natural meaning or no absolute zero in the interval scale. Let's take one example. Temperature is an interval variable, so 30 degrees centigrade is 3 degrees hotter than 27 and 10 degrees centigrade is 3 degrees hotter than 7 degrees centigrade or 7 degrees Celsius. However, 0 degrees Celsius does not have a natural meaning or no absolute zero in uh, temperature. That means 0 degrees Celsius does not mean the absence of heat, the absence of heat. There is a temperature having a value of 0 degrees Celsius. So here we cannot say Another point here is that we cannot say 30 degrees Celsius is not twice as hot as 50 degrees Celsius. So there is no ratio here. We cannot explain using ratio. That means 30 degrees Celsius divided by 15 degrees Celsius, the result becomes 2. But we cannot explain like this. We cannot explain 30 degrees Celsius is twice hotter than that of 50 degrees Celsius. The interval data are normally distributed and hence we can apply the parametric test which is more powerful than that of the non-parametric tests. Let's take an uh, additional example. The temperature that is 90 degrees Celsius, 80 degrees Celsius, 70 degrees Celsius. So the interval is meaningful that is 80 degrees Celsius is 10 degrees Celsius higher than 70 degrees Celsius and it is 10 degrees Celsius lower than 90 degrees Celsius. And the IQ score, uh, if we see that 40, uh, 100, 160 and the income ranges, so we can have here the interval uh, with a meaningful explanation. How is the interval data analyzed? So using descriptive statistics, the frequency, the distribution, the mode, the median, the mean, the range, the standard deviation, and the variance can be explained or can be uh, calculated or can be analyzed. Moving to the parametric statistical test, the t-test, the linear regression, the ANOVA, and the Pearson correlation can be uh, analyzed. Moving to the last type or the higher levels of types of uh, measurement scale, that is the ratio scale, the ratio scale includes all the properties of the scale, the previous scale, the previous three scales, but also contains the true zero values, which represents the absence of the quality being measured. Let's take an example. Heart beats per minute has a very natural zero point. That means zero means, in the case of heart beat, there is zero heart beat means no heart beats. If we add one more example, weights and here it has also a zero point that means zero weight means zero grams means the absence of the weight the absence of the weight moving to uh, how how is the ratio data analyzed so in descriptive statistics all the previous analysis can be conducted that is the frequency distribution the mode the median the mean the range the standard deviation the variance and in addition, the coefficient of variation can be conducted. Plus, moving to the parametric statistical tests, the ANOVA, the linear regression, the correlation, plus to that, the all the previous tests can be conducted in the case of the ratio scales. Let's summarize all types of measurement scale in one table with different characteristics, that is the categories 
the categorization and the labels, the rankings, the intervals, the absolute zero, the qualitative data and the quantitative data. So the nominal scale is just a category or a labeling and it is applied for a qualitative data and the ordinal data includes the properties of the nominal data plus the ordering or the ranking. Moving to the intervals, it also includes all the properties of uh, the uh, nominal and the ordinal data with the exceptions of uh, the uh, qualitative data. It is applied for the quantitative data. And the last one is the ratio. The ratio is, uh, it includes all the types of, all types of the properties or all features of the nominal ordinal interval plus to that it has the absolute zero or meaningful zero plus it is applied to the quantitative data. This is the end of our discussion and let me give you uh, four questions just to determine the type of measurement scale. The first one is the footballer's number that is the, their assigned number on their back so determine the type of measurement scale which is suitable for this and the second is the footballer's interest to play above 35 years and the other is uh, the footballer's number of goals that they scored and the last one is the footballer's height so try to answer this question that means try to align these questions with the types of measurement scale levels of measurement scale and provide your answers on the comment box. Here is the end of our discussion. Thank you for listening. Bye.